guess what? I put together the coolest video series coming up. It features women just like yourself teaching online preschool. Yes, that's right. You're going to actually see them teach online preschool. Now, this is what we call our teaching time lesson not our preschool pals. Preschool pals, of course, is a Zoom room where they're interacting with the students. So this is their pre-recorded teaching time class that they send out to parents before their live preschool pals class. You're gonna love it. Sit back, grab some popcorn and treats because here's a fun video coming your way. Hola amigos. Bienvenidos a la Casa Bilico Preschool. I'm Senora, and I'm here to teach you guys more great things in Espanol and English, right? You guys ready to get started? Okay, let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about last time and what we learned. Do you guys remember la letra del día? What was the letter of the day? It was de. Muy bien. Pulgares arriba. <laughs> What about the word of the day, la palabra del día? It was día. <laughs> Isn't that fun? We learned about the seven days of the week in both English and Spanish. How about the shape of the day, la figura del día? Yes, diamond starts with a D, rombo, right? <laughs> Diamante or rombo? One of the two you can use. Muy bien, clase. How about the manner? The manner of the day. Modal? Modal es el día? Sí, salud. If somebody sneezes, hachu. Then you say, salud. <laughs> Muy bien, clase. And then the color del día? Blanco, that's right, white, blanco, like my white watch, right? Reloj blanco. And then el numero del día, you ready for a hint? <laughs> cinco, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. <laughs> Muy bien, okay, let's learn some new stuff today, you ready? Okay, let's take a look at La letra del día. And it's pe. Can you say pe? P, 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 pe. In English, we say p, 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 p. And in Spanish, we say p, p, pe, pe. Muy bien. Another thing we're going to go over is el número del día. Last time it was cinco. This time it's seis, seis, six, okay, seis. La figura del día, la figura del día also has the color del día. First, let's look at the figura and it's pentagono, pentagono, pentagon. And it has five sides, cinco lados, right? Cinco lados. And el color del día es morado. Can you say morado? Muy bien, amigos. Purple. Morado is purple. And the manner of the day. Morales del día. You ready for this? I'm going to give you a little hint. When you say gracias, when you say thank you, somebody else should be saying this to you. De nada, you're welcome. So if someone says thank you to you, you say de nada. Can you say de nada? Muy bien. De nada is our manner of the day. We say you're welcome. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of our family, right? So we're going to um, do our Buenos Dias song because now you know what Dias means, right? Which is day. So we always want to greet each other every time we see each other with Buenos Dias, which is good morning, okay? If we're in the morning time, Buenas tardes, 
if we're in the afternoon time, and buenas noches if we're in the evening or we're going night night, okay? Going mimis. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on buenos dias, good morning. So when you're watching this, I want you to say buenos dias, senora. <laughs> okay, I have my two friends here, amigos, that are gonna join us, and that is Elefante. Say hola, Elefante. Hola, niños. And then we have El Mono. Oh, and look at the color del día. He's morado. You see that? Hola, niños. <laughs> okay, so they're going to join us in our Buenos Dias time together. Let's go ahead and go over our, let's see here. Let me go back here, make sure that we're on the right page. And we're going to go over our Buenos Dias song. I do want to share with you guys about our palabra del día. Palabra starts with a P sound, P, right? Palabra del día, the word of the day, is actually something super special. You know why? Because it's our family. And so we're going to celebrate because a holiday that's coming up very soon, it starts with a P, and in Spanish we say papá. Can you say papá? Muy bien, clase. Papá could either mean your father or your grandfather, right? Or someone that's a male that's in your life that you love so much and they love you. Okay, so our palabra del día is papá. So let's go ahead and let's have some fun, okay? And I want you to find out in the next song if you can listen for the word papá, okay? I hope you guys know this song. It's such a fun song. I want you to get up and get moving. And then what we'll do is we're going to look for the keyword, the palabra del día. And we're going to try and find it. And let me see if you can find la palabra del día. Here we go. This is Baby Shark in Espanol. Here we go. Did you guys see the palabra del día? You did. What was it? ¿Qué fue? Papá. Papá, right? <laughs> okay, very good. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to talk a little bit about how important because we have Father's Day coming up. El Día de los Padres. El Día. You guys remember that last time? Día, right? Yes. El Día de los Padres. We are celebrating them because of all the hard work they do. And in this book that I'm going to share with you guys, we're going to talk a little bit about the things that we love about our daddies, right? Okay, come join me. Let's see if Paco's awake. Let's see if we can talk to him before we start reading, okay? Paco! Paco! Ooh, he's awake! Paco. Estás mm. cansado, Paco? Are you tired? Sí. ¿Por qué estás cansado? Why are you tired? <laughs> Estaba dormido. He said he was sleeping. <laughs> okay, Paco. <gasps> Paco. The letra en día starts with p, 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 like your name. Paco, el perrito. Sí. Sí. Estamos hablando de modales. And we, queremos saber, we're talking a little bit about manners, and we want to know if you know uh, the modales, if you want to say thank you. Can we say that in Spanish? Sí, claro que sí. De nada. <laughs> De nada is correct. Muy bien, Paco. Gracias. De nada. 
Ok. A ver, Paco, we're going to read el cuento para, para hoy, ok? So, you can go back to sleep now, ok? Ok. Adiós, niños. <laughs> Adiós. Muchas gracias. De nada. <laughs> ok. All right. Paco's going to go back to sleep. I woke him up. <laughs> All right. Let's read our book together. You ready? Ok. Come down here with me. And we're going to read a special book called I love my daddy because quiero a mi papá porque pa, 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 papá. And look at there's a león, right? And a little cub, right? And this is by Laurel Porter Gaylord. And the picture is by Ashley Wolf. Let's read. I love these pictures. P -p pictures. <laughs> I love my daddy because quiero a mi papá porque he plays with me. Juega conmigo. Do you play with your papá or your abuelo, your grandfather? He keeps me safe and warm. Me mantiene seguro y abrigado. He brings me dinner. Me trae de comer. He is big and strong. Es grande y fuerte. He takes naps with me. Toma la siesta conmigo. Do you get to take naps with your papa? Muy bien. Good. I love my daddy because quiero a mi papa porque he can build a house. Whoa. Puede construir una casa. Casa. House. See the pictures? He makes me laugh. Me hace reír. He helps me reach things. Me ayuda a alcanzar cosas. You see the giraffe, jirafa, and the mono? Mono and jirafa? He sings me songs. Me encanta canciones. He takes me for a ride. Me lleva de paseo. He teaches me to be brave. Me enseña a ser valiente. He teaches me to be careful. Me enseña a ser cuidadoso. You see the fox there and the gorilla? I love my daddy because quiero a mi papá porque he plays hide and seek with me. Juega el escondite conmigo. <laughs> All the animals are in the jungle. Animales. He protects our family. Protege la nuestra familia. He watches over me at night. Me cuida por la noche. And lastly, I love my daddy and my daddy loves me. Oh, quiero a mi papá, papá, y mi papá me quiere. <laughs> The next time you see your papa or your grandfather, abuelo, or your uncle, your tío, okay, I want you to give them a big abrazo and tell them that you love them, okay, because I know they love you. All right, muy bien, amigos. Did you guys enjoy that book? <laughs> Great. All right, let's go over our numeros, okay? 
Let's go over our numeros together. And let's see if we can find our numero del día. Numero del día. We've got uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ooh, that was from last time. Cinco, remember? We have cinco dedos, five fingers, seis. <gasps> Ding, 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 seis. Can you guys say seis? Muy bien, seis is six. Siete, ocho, nueve, y diez. Muy bien, let's go in English, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the number of the day. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> awesome job, clase, muy bien. Okay, es la hora de la escuela. We're gonna go ahead and go over some of the things we need to know to prepare ourselves for kindergarten, okay? All right, the good thing about learning our letters is our letters turn into words and our words turn into sentences and then we're able to read the wonderful books that we love so much, okay? So now let's go ahead and go to our alfabeto, our alphabet. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our preschool all-stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting running and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done-for-you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run, and grow your preschool. We've all been there, and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there. And we're going to highlight some of the things that we've learned thus far, right? Okay, so let's go over it both in English and then in Spanish, okay? Here we go. All right. In English, let's sing together. Sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? More bien. All right. The more you know your letters in English and in Spanish, the more you can read, okay? All right, let's go over them in Spanish now, okay? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Ahora tú sabes su ABC, la próxima vez canta conmigo. <laughs> Muy bien, clase. Amigos, can I tell you how well you guys are doing? I love how you sing with me. And I love how you're paying really good attention. Keep up the good work, okay? All right, let's go over some of the letters we've gone over. B for bicicleta, a for abeja, c for conejo, d for dolphin, f for flor, o for ojo, p for paco or perro or papa, <laughs> Muy bien. What else did we go over? 
Zeta. We went over Zeta. Zanahoria, right? Or ce Zebra, we say Zebra. Muy bien. And there's so many more that we are going to be going over as well in the future. But I'm so proud of you, all that you're learning in both English and in Spanish. Keep up the good work, okay? All right, let's move on to the next one here. We've got colores and figuras. All right, colores, let's see if we can find, oh, did we find the le letter for today? We did, it's right here. Pe, pa, 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 pe for papa, okay? Papa, pe, muy bien. All right, let's go to colores. And we've got rojo, red, which we went over, anaranjado. That was a long one, but you guys got through it. Amarillo, muy bien. Verde, azul. Today is morado, purple. Rosa, pink. Café, brown. Gris, gray. Negro, black, blanco, white. We went over blanco last time together. And then we also have our figuras, right? And this one is a special one because it has five sides to it. Cinco lados, okay? And it's pentagono. Can you say pentagono? Muy bien, clase. Pentagono is correct. All right, good job. I'm so proud of you. You're doing an excellent job learning in our La Hora de la Escuela time, okay? All right, let's go ahead. We're going to do some Bolsa Magica now this time. You guys want to see what's in my Bolsa Magica, my magic bag? See? Okay, come join me down here. And we're going to go over the Bolsa Magica. And we're going to focus on... El color morado, the color purple. Yes. Let's see what I have in my bolsa magica. This thing, una pista, a hint. This thing you can drink out of, and it has liquid in it. Yes, it's a taza, a cup. You ready for it? And what color is it? It's morado. Good job, amigos. Okay, what's next? Ooh, it's something that you can use with your hair to pull your hair down. Yes, it's a brush and it's purple. You see that? It's a brush. Very good. What else do I have in here? Ooh, this is a figura. And it's shaped like the shape that we went over last week. I don't know if you remember. Ovalo. Look at that purple ovalo. Ooh. Cool, huh? Okay, and my last one is, okay, I'll give you a hint. It looks like an animal. And they're really, really big animals. Uh-huh. And it's a toy. And it has a long nose, long nariz. Do you know? It's an elefante. And look it. It's a cute little elefante and it's morado. All right, classe. We're going to go in bilingual buddies. We'll talk a little bit more about more um, things that start with the letter P, P, and things that are purple. Okay, look forward to seeing what you guys have in your casitas, your casas, right? Okay, muy bien, I put everything back because we like to clean up, right? And keep everything neat. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and do some review. And can you tell me la letra del día? That's right, it's P for papa, right? or Paco. <laughs> okay, and can you tell me the numero del día, the number of the day? Seis. Muy bien. Okay, and can you tell me the 
Figura del día. Figura del día. Yes, pentágono. And it has the color del día too. You ready to say the color del día? It's morado. Muy bien. Okay, and the modales del día, the manner of the day. It's something we say if someone says thank you to us, we say, de nada. You're welcome. All right, let's practice our modales because we want to make sure that people know we love and respect them, okay? All right, muy bien, clase. You guys did an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. You stayed focused. You moved around. You learned new things today. And I can't wait to see you in Bilingual Buddies. Adios. Wasn't that so fun? Oh my gosh, I love watching these videos. And you know what I love even more though? I can't wait to see your teaching time video. That's right, you can be just like these amazing preschool teachers that you saw here. Because guess what? They were nervous on their first day too. And in fact, the first day usually is a bit rough, but then you just keep going. You don't give up. Post in your comments, what was the favorite activity that this teacher did during her teaching time online preschool class? And as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share so I can get more of these videos out to women just like you and keep sharing this message that mothers everywhere can stay home with their kids. They can create a consistent income and they can make a difference in children's lives. Until next time, we'll see you then.